If you're looking for new recipes to try this holiday season, I am here to show you the most delicious ones from the pioneer woman herself. Hi, and welcome to Meals with Maria. I am so pleased to share these new Pioneer Woman recipes that I tried out myself. I tried eight different recipes and I loved every single one of them. These recipes are sure to shine on your holiday tablescape and as always, they are simple enough to make at home. I am thrilled that today's video is sponsored by Thrive Market. With the holidays approaching and as always, it's so important to be able to have a place to get natural and organic products below regular retail prices. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store with a goal of making healthy living easy and affordable for all. We are getting started with festive goat cheese balls and these do taste as good as they look and look how festive they are with the green and red. I absolutely love them. You wanna start off with about eight ounces of softened goat cheese and two ounces of softened cream cheese and that could just be like on the counter room temperature that's going to be fine and then we're going to mix those together you can use a stand mixer or i didn't want to get mine out so i just used a hand mixer and it actually worked great once this is well mixed you actually want to place this back in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes until firm then you want to finely chop about a half a cup of dried cra cranberries or craisins and a half a cup of dried pistachios after that 15 minutes in the refrigerator, you wanna scoop the cheese into small balls and then roll your cheese mixture right into the cranberry pistachio mixture to coat completely. And that is it. These are so festive and impressive and they're relatively simple. They refrigerate really well so you can make them ahead of time and then set them out for your guests. I was blown away and I will be serving them at my Thanksgiving and Christmas. Now the Pioneer Woman version of this is actually fresh corn casserole, but I did not have fresh corn, so we used frozen and it turned out amazing. This is actually up there with my Jiffy corn casserole. I'm actually not sure which one I'm gonna serve. I'm just starting with one pound of frozen corn, two thirds a cup of heavy cream, salt and pepper. You can do like a half a teaspoon of salt and a sprinkle of ground pepper and three tablespoons of melted butter. You just wanna mix that all together in your pan and then bake at 350 degrees for about 35 minutes until thoroughly warm through. You can see mine was delicious and bubbly when it came out and the whole family was obsessed. My husband was absolutely blown away. He's like, this is the best corn. He, I think he prefers this to the corn casserole. The kids still say the Jiffy corn casserole is their number one, but it's gonna be a tough call when it comes time for Thanksgiving and Christmas because maybe I'll just have to do both or one on each, I'm, I'm not sure. And I served it with roasted chicken and stuffing. So it really was kind of like a Thanksgiving meal. It was really, really fabulous. Re has the right ideas. Next up is something that's a little bit more visually stunning, but I'll tell you that it is stunning on the taste buds as well. This is a winter salad and it's gonna blow everybody away. I'm gonna start off by making the salad dressing. You need a half a cup of red wine vinegar, a half a cup of olive oil, four teaspoons of maple syrup and four teaspoons of Dijon mustard, a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. Go ahead and whisk that together and you're gonna have a delicious dressing. Now, if you just wanna use a store-bought dressing, that's gonna be fine too. I think any sort of a vinaigrette dressing is gonna taste great on this salad. For the original salad, it calls for six ounces of shredded kale and then six ounces of shredded vegetables such as Brussels sprouts, cabbage, and carrots. I just grabbed this salad mix from Whole Foods. I'm sure you can find it pretty much at any uh, grocery store you can find kind of like a mix like that and that was a lot easier for me than you know cutting everything up so your choice on how you want to do that then you want about a handful of pomegranate seeds about a half of a lemon juiced a medium apple cored and diced about a cup of candied pecans four ounces of crumbled goat cheese and then a cup and a half of roasted butternut squash and i didn't have butternut squash so i actually used acorn squash and roasted that up in my air fryer it was super easy i'll put a recipe down below for that and it was absolutely delicious so you can take a lot of liberties on a salad like this the key is all of those colors all of those toppings are going to give it a ton of flavor you just drizzle your salad dressing over the top you can make as much or as little of the salad as you want you can add as much or little of any of the toppings as you like but this is a show Stopper. This is absolutely delicious. This is something special for the holidays. And even if you just want to have something healthy for yourself to have for lunch, that's what I, I just grabbed this onto a plate and I was very pleased. 
Next up is another stunningly easy recipe for hot crashed potatoes. You can see how beautiful these potatoes are, but you're gonna be shocked at how easy they were to make. You wanna start off by bringing a pot of salted water to a boil and then add in as many potatoes as you wish. I just grabbed a, I think it's like a one pound bag of the tiny red creamer potatoes for this. I also think you could use some larger ones if you wanted to, you just might wanna cut them up and then kind of smash them down. They won't be exactly the same, but it's a cheaper way to kind of handle uh, the potato situation. You wanna cook those until they are fork tender. And then we're gonna drizzle a sheet pan with some olive oil and place our potatoes right on top. Now you wanna mash your potatoes down gently with a potato masher and then you wanna push the excess kind of back out on top of the potato and then rotate 90 degrees and do that again. So you're kind of mashing it twice and it really kind of pops open the potato and makes kind of, I don't know, like little uh, like Himalayas, like iceberg type things on it. But it really turns out fabulous because all those little pieces crisp up and it makes something really unique. And then once those are all mashed, you wanna drizzle the tops of each of the potatoes with more olive oil, and then we're gonna sprinkle those with kosher salt, black pepper, fresh chopped rosemary, or you can have dried if you have it. You can use chives, you can use thyme, you can use whatever herb you have available, and then a shake of grated Parmesan cheese. You wanna bake those at 450 degrees for about 25 minutes until they are golden brown and sizzling and you are gonna see the results. They are going to be so crispy and so yummy. And I think you could take this a step further and really put any type of seasoning that you like or you want on these. It's the method of roasting these potatoes that makes them so amazing. I feel like you could get these ready on a sheet pan ahead of time, put them in the refrigerator and then roast them when it come time, comes time for dinner. You place these on a platter when you're serving family and friends and they are going to look absolutely magnificent. They are such a beauty. Like I said, my husband was obsessed with these and I'm so excited to make them again someday. Now to talk a little bit more about Thrive Market. I absolutely love Thrive Market because I can get items that I already buy for less, such as these granola bars that my son loves and this pirate booty that I find for more expensive at my local Walmart. Thrive Market can help you cut your grocery bill by over 30%. On my last order, I paid, I saved, I saved, I'm always looking for what can I can save. I saved like 50%, I loved it, it was so great. Perhaps you have a vegan sister like me, or you're looking for keto items, or you're looking for some gluten-free items. The options are endless at Thrive. You can actually sort by all different diet types. There are actually 90 plus different diet types and values that you can sort by. In my case, most of the time, my kids just need snacks and I need to fill my pantry. Here's an example of what I received in my most recent haul. As you can see, there is a ton of variety here. I was actually able to get some free gifts because Thrive is always giving certain things away for free. And that is awesome because I'm all about the freebie. I got this cookbook, I got some ghee, and I got some gluten-free pasta. Thrive is also great for specialty items. I grabbed this gochujang, which I've been using a lot in kind of an Asian Korean style cooking. And sometimes things like this are hard to find, especially if you don't have a lot of options near where you live. Thrive's own brand is less expensive and delicious. I absolutely love the avocado oil chips because that's a non-inflammatory oil and all of those are very affordable. All of the snacks that I order for the kids, the Pirate's Booty, the Annie's Bunny Snacks, all are less expensive than my local Walmart, so it's such a deal. Thrive's website has an entire sale section, so I can actually shop the sales, shop the deals without, without actually having to go to the grocery store, which makes it even more fun for me. I am a deal shopper, and I love to do it right from my computer. Thrive is a great solution to save time and money. My kids love going through the boxes and seeing what we got. All orders $49 plus are shipped for free and delivered with carbon neutral shipping from you in a zero waste warehouse. Something that's near and dear in my heart is giving back and Thrive actually gives a membership to a family teacher or veteran for every annual membership purchased. And the annual memberships come out to $5 a month. So you're gonna be saving a lot more than that. Go ahead and get your membership by clicking the link down in the description box or going to thrivemarket.com slash meals with Maria. You will receive a free $60 gift when you join Thrive Market today. And that's kind of a deal because that's basically the annual membership all set for you. All right, so this next one, you guys are gonna have to tell me, are these, is this a cheesy potato casserole or is this technically funeral potatoes? Because I think it is. And I said I was bringing it to a party. People were like, oh, what are you gonna bring? I was like, oh, it's like funeral potatoes. They're like to a birthday party. Like, 
they had never heard of funeral potatoes before. So comment below if you know what I'm talking about and the, the little shebang. I am melting one tablespoon of salted butter with one yellow onion chopped and two cloves of garlic. And then you just want to cook that for about five minutes. And then we're going to add a whole bunch of stuff to one bowl. We have 16 ounces of sour cream, eight ounces of shredded cheddar cheese, all of the onions and garlic that I just cooked up. That is kind of the best part. Super delicious. And then you want two containers of condensed cream of chicken soup. I didn't have any, so I actually made my own and I'll put the recipe down for that in the description box. It's super easy to make your own cream of chicken soup if you're in a bind or, you know, it's actually pretty cheap. So I'm going to put that in the description box for you so you can make your own if you want to. And then 30 ounces of frozen shredded hash browns. Those are actually going to be thawed. This one is so easy peasy. You're just going to mix everything together and then we're going to put it in a 13 by 9 casserole dish and bake for th at 300 375 degrees for about 45 minutes and then while that's baking you want to melt six tablespoons of butter in a small bowl and then combine that with about a cup of breadcrumbs and at the end of baking you actually want to put that breadcrumb mixture right over the top of your casserole and then bake for another 10 minutes until golden brown on top this casserole was a crowd pleaser the kids especially were going back for seconds and thirds they were yelling we love this casserole so this is a big hit it's such an easy one and you know you're gonna love it now I have made many a cocktail meatball in my lifetime, but I usually just use like the grape jelly and the cocktail sauce. These ones are a little bit different. I was able to bring these to a birthday party and everybody loved them. They are a little bit sweet and a little bit spicy. The original recipe calls for chili sauce, but for some reason I could not get my hand on chili sauce this time. So I'm just making it my own cocktail sauce by adding horseradish to a little bit of ketchup. And I'm just kind of eyeballing how much I think one package or one bottle of that would be. But if you can get chili sauce, you want 12 ounces. To that, you wanna add one tablespoon of sriracha, about a half a cup of apricot preserves, and a tablespoon of soy sauce. And I love that tangy, sweet, and salty flavor of the soy sauce, the sriracha, and the apricot preserves. The original recipe does offer what I am sure is a delicious meatball recipe, but I did not have time for that. So I just used frozen meatballs and I was going all in for the sauce to give me all the flavor. I cooked these on high for four hours in the slow cooker and they came out absolutely amazing. They were another crowd pleaser as is with all of these recipes. Next up is roasted carrots with vinaigrette, and I've never had anything like this, but my mouth is just watering thinking about it. It was so delicious. The original recipe yields enough for 10 and it asks for five pounds of carrots, but I decided to use about two pounds of carrots because I was just cooking for my own family. You wanna cut the carrots into quarters lengthwise and then into two to three inch pieces. So I kind of like quartered them uh, down the middle and then I spread them onto a sheet pan and toss them with olive oil and seasoned salt and pepper pepper. Then you want to bake these at 475 degrees for about 15 minutes, tossing them once or twice, and the carrots are going to be tender and brown along the edges when they're done. And while those are cooking, you want to make your dressing. Start with a quarter cup of olive oil, two tablespoons of white wine vinegar, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, a tablespoon of minced garlic, fresh rosemary if you have it, but you can just use dried. That's what I did. Same thing with thyme leaves, about a half a teaspoon of each and then a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. This is really a spectacular dressing that gives tons of flavor to this dish. And this is again, something that I'm really gonna consider putting on my Thanksgiving Christmas table. I might just have to have dinner parties all winter long because I have so many good recipes now. Like these are all worth sharing. I need everyone to know about them. So yeah, you just drizzle on that dressing as you wish and it is just phenomenal. Next up is a butternut squash puree that is as hearty as sweet potato. It is so delicious and you'd never know kind of maybe how healthy-ish it might be. You want a whole butternut squash halved and seeded. And then place that cut side down on a baking sheet and roast for 30 to 40 minutes at 375 degrees. And then you wanna scoop out the innards into a bowl. And in my case, I actually ended up using a ricer, like a potato ricer, and that made it so creamy and delicious. So I totally recommend it if you have one, but it's gonna be fine if you just use a regular bowl and mash it up as well. To that, you wanna add six tablespoons of butter cut into pieces and a quarter cup of maple syrup. You want a dash of salt, 
I actually went in a lot heavier with the salt than I anticipated, but it still tasted delicious, so thank goodness for that. And then I'm just gonna mix that up. If you are not using the ricer, you can use a potato masher or a puree with a food processor. Then you just wanna spread it into a small casserole dish and sprinkle it with cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. And you just wanna keep that warm in the oven until serving, and it's absolutely divine and so, so simple. This is another one that's gonna be great to make ahead. Please do not forget to check out Thrive Market. Click the link in my description box or go to thrivemarket.com slash mealswithmaria to receive a free $60 gift when you join Thrive Market today. For more Thanksgiving and holiday inspiration, click on this next video and I'll see you all very soon.